How about that muley whitetail combo? Doesn't get better than Nebraska, right? 470. One of my favorite things to do is to go hunting. And so my buddy Ty that I grew up with and his son Porter, we try and plan a hunting trip at least every year or every other year. So I compiled a bunch of shots during our hunting trip and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Viewer discretion is advised. If you do not like hunting or graphic content, I'm warning you now that there's slow-mo impacts of deer getting killed. So let's get to it. I really enjoyed this trip, we had a good time. But uh, hey, shout out to Runza, one of my favorite spots. Finally made it back. It's been like four years since I've had a Runza. Zoom in on those. Let's Porter. Huh. Okay. Little deer out there. D-O-R-T-E-R space R. Something you don't see every day. Coyote got itself tangled up in the fence. Barbed wire wrapped around its head. Unless this is a trap someone had set up, but I don't think it's chasing that damn road runner. Yeah. All right, well, we spent a couple hours in the truck. How many deer have we seen this morning? Probably 40. Dude, I'm rec well, how, many deer, how many deer have we seen this morning? Yeah, 40, 50. Probably 40, 50 deer. Um, There's a, a couple little bucks. I mean, we are kind of chasing antlers, but we also have some antlerless tags as well. So we are going to make a move to another spot and uh, try and reevaluate for sunset. We've got a couple different pieces of private land that we can hit around here but i will say that hunting out of a mobile heated ground blind is pretty nice when it's 21 degrees out and i haven't worn a jeans or a sweatshirt in probably a year it's kind of crazy got some merriam turkeys out here you can tell they're merriams because of the collar that's on them it says their name on it Got some mule deer over here. It's like two does in the buck. Give them a little drink of water. So pretty. We got these pretty cool cattle gates here. Works, works in a different way than most gates. Get the kind of, trying to do this one handed. Good. Dude, these robot deer are getting out of control, realistic. I was about to shoot that thing. It ran off on me. Alright guys, we're all set up for our first evening hunt. <laughs> we're sitting in front of this alfalfa field. We got Porter on the iPad. Because he won't sit still otherwise. We're set up on our first evening hunt right now. And it's over this alfalfa field. I'm gonna turn the camera on so you guys can see it. It looks pretty sweet. everyone so other than our first morning that we woke up in the truck on site today is our second morning out last night I took a shot at a really cool coyote that had a really nice dark black coat we didn't see any shooter bucks and uh, but we did see probably 15 20 does and maybe a couple two by twos throughout the night so Porter's pretty fired up today right bud mm -hmm. yeah he's wants a wants to get a deer with us. I think that'd be a really cool memory to share with him. So we're driving out to our spot and the uh, sun is going to come up here in about 45 minutes. What's kind of weird is normally when we're here, I'm not going to tell you what city we're in, but there's usually a lot more hunters. And I think that it's, there's not because I think they're making non-resident tags harder to get. Like you have to buy by the county. You can't really buy statewide permits, right? Is that how it is now? Non-residents can't buy statewide buck or antler antler tags but since i knew i was going to be in this particular county 
I went ahead and bought, I'm able to buy like a white tail only antler tag, which also comes with a bonus antler list. So I can shoot one buck and one doe. So, uh, but we're gonna chase this buck, a couple bucks around for the next couple days. And if we don't get one, then maybe we'll shoot a doe to fill, a, fill the freezer for the summer to come. So, all right, well, let's get to it. Got a nice mule deer right here. Probably gonna pass on him though. Show you. So three by three. Let him live another year. But it's a good sign. A good sign. You guys want some quality content? You get a two for one special on these mule deer right here. <laughs> They're standing right in line with each other. <laughs> Look at this. One shot, two deer. You know the deal. Roby has found a shooter. Let's see him. Where is that? Oh yeah, I can make that shot. <laughs> oh, he's he's on that that hill that right, there. right there. That right. dark hill there. So right there. All right, well, let me know where he's at. You want to mark him on your maps and then. Spinglish. All right, let's see this unit. Yeah, it's a nice deer right there. All right, well, let's start marking our way over there and see what we can to make it happen. Nice looking deer, tall. Give me a couple hops, brother. Skip, skip for me. Be a nice deer next year. I like that split on this G. What is it? G one. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, that split on his G1 classic muley. And we are seeing so many deer this morning. We got a little doe bedded down there. We got another doe bedded down over here. Lots of good signs out here. Just gonna keep keep making our moves around these canyons. Find something good. All right, it's currently 10.30 in the morning and we've been driving around and we think we found a deer that Tyler's gonna shoot. So we're gonna park the truck and get out and start stalking. Porter, are you fired up? Are you excited? Yeah? You, you watch, watch your dad shoot a deer? No? He's gonna watch him shoot a deer. So we, we just scoped him out a little bit. It looks like there's four or five does and maybe two or three bucks and there's definitely a bigger one that's in there. So. We're gonna get out of the truck and climb over this hill and see if we can't get close enough to take a shot. We've been stuck in the deer for like 15 minutes. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see him.
So check out this next frame. You're gonna actually see the bullet impact the deer. You can see it frame by frame in that white circle. And look at that, there's the impact. And then you can see it contact the dirt on the other side, full pass through. I think this is a pretty good shot. It may not be a direct heart hit, but it was a double long. He was had blood in his mouth afterwards, but pretty cool to see this shot in slow motion. Well, Roby just shot a, shot a mule deer. We got one down. It's the biggest one we've seen today. Probably seen 40 mule deer this morning. And we left him to go chase some other bucks that were, ended up being smaller. Went back to this one, saw him. Did the stock, deer down. Now we're gonna go retrieve him. What's that? Five five. To five by five? What are you shooting? No heart. What do you think, Porter? Pretty cool looking deer, huh? Yeah. What happened to his side? Probably got poked. Looks like he's been fighting or rubbing. What do you think? Not bad. Not bad. Good Nebraska deer. Good Nebraska mule deer. Just chilling. Well, it's been a pretty cool day. We bagged that buck and uh, we still have two and a half days left. I mean, we have a sunset hut tonight, so we're gonna go check out this area that's sitting over a lake, trying to get a white tail. Be cool if I could get a white tail buck. Tyler shoots a muley, be a good combo, so. We're gonna go set up for this evening hunt and uh, we're scoping out our spots right now. We got one spot that we know is really good, but we wanna check this one before we go set up in the other one. So we're gonna climb up to the top of these hills, check out, get on top of these hay bales, see if we can't see anything. We've got a couple does right here, which is a good sign. Surprised they haven't ran off yet. But gosh, I love hunting. It's just so great being outdoors, you know? Look. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Let's keep zooming in. Hey, That's when he was talking about the six by six. Yeah? Let me try and rattle. My buddy shot a spike that he wants to have processed. <laughs> we do that. We just might make fun of you for it. <laughs> Usually we don't make fun until after you leave. But... Oh, there's some nice deer in here. Okay, okay. Maybe that white tail we saw tonight did actually kind of match up with this one. That's a nice mule. I know. Alright, so uh, we're stuck here in an O'Reilly's parking lot because as we were pulling into town, Roby goes, my battery light came on and on my way up I was like, dang, this thing had an alternator go out, I could swap it out. I could swap it out in like 10 minutes. Sure as crap, his alternator died. So we just had a test at O'Reilly's, these boys had a Bosch unit in stock. So we're doing a quick alternator swap in the parking lot and we got the hyped up one at 160 amp instead of 145. So. Since he's got this light bar in front, it'll be nice to have a new alternator. He, he Andy just told me, he's like, yeah, dude, I just replaced the battery like a week ago. I'm like, well, definitely an alternator issue then. So we're gonna swap this thing out real quick. 
get some dinner. It's been a great day. Saw a lot of deer today. And uh, we've got a great spot for tomorrow. We're both pretty fired up about. But this is, I love this kind of stuff. I love the thrill of the adventure. All right, this is gonna be the real moment of proof is when we pull this one out and put the new one in and that it fits because we're in such a small town. <laughs> if this one doesn't fit, hopefully they have another one in stock. Are you recording yet? <laughs> Keep Don Tyler. I'm like, dude, get out the camera. This is quality content. He's like, I, I wouldn't watch this. You guys know what it is. I know. I know what you want to see. You want to see relatable stuff. Stuff that happened to you and your buddy if you want. Oh. Right. It's going to burn up in the hunter. Oh. I got one in there. That should be good just as one bolt, yeah? Just one? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I've probably run it that way before. Hey, start it up. Put it in reverse, Terry. How's she cranking? Battery lights off. Battery lights off? How many bolts? Oh, we're dialed. Nice, dude. Quick alternator change in the parking lot. Day three, we just spent $24 in hash browns over the past two days. What'd that get you? Not much, I'll tell you that. Heading out for day number three. We're actually gonna get out of the truck, I think. <laughs> no, it should be good. We set out in the spot last night for a sunset and it was a hitter, but uh, saw some really good bucks that I just showed you clips of. And uh, see out, sit out there and see what we can see probably end up sitting here for sunset as well we'll see what's going on maybe drive around during the day but uh pretty stoked i could barely sleep last night after seeing those deer it was like up like every hour waiting for the time to get up and then i got up like an hour early and showered and, all right let's get to some hunting action let's go see some deer yeah you know we were out here early in the morning it's yeah, a foggy <laughs> what was that? It's a crisp 90 degrees in here. It's 21 degrees outside. Alright guys. We're out here. In our mobile heated ground blind. We just had a couple deer walk through already. It's way before shooting time, but wanted to give you a little perspective of what we're looking at here. Got up some cornfields out here. A bunch of hay bales. Show you as soon as it gets a little lighter, but we got the spotting scope set up on the window so we can stand nice and warm and watch all the deer move around the trees and the fields. And we'll get out and stock something if we see something. Well, guys, our hunt has been compromised. We got a guy driving around in a truck and fired off about five rounds so far this morning. About 15 minutes after first shooting time, 30 minutes before sunrise truck pulled up behind us and they've just been driving the fields and popping shots like crazy probably fired five times i don't think they've even gotten a deer we've seen them running and they just feel like our hunt's been blown out this morning but uh nothing we can do so we're just gonna keep chilling and hold our ground and they probably don't even see us because we're locked in between two pieces of machinery right now with our lights off and just trying to lay low Sucks. He's just hot dog in the field, popping rounds. Starting to see a little more action. A little doe walking through here. Good to see some movement after some shots, right? Yeah? You see anything else out there? No. No, no. A lot of turkeys. A lot of deer. So we're going over to another spot here. We came up on two bucks here. So I can't show you. Great. 
There's one. I think I'm going to shoot that one on the left. And then there's another one on the right. It's a little bit smaller. I think this is the deer we saw last night. Oh, there he is. Where's that other one? Are they both standing up now? No, the other one's down. So. Oh, he's standing up now. Looks like a 5x5. Five five. He's at about 100 yards. I think it only... I don't even think we have to get out of the truck. <laughs> Porter, what do you think? Should we shoot this deer? Uh-huh. All right, bro. You ready? Mm-hmm. I'm going to turn the truck off. Huh? Whatever you want. Nice looking doe. Comes a buck. Yep. Here he comes. You want to take him or you want me to get him? I've got a great shot on him. If you want to. You can't shoot right now. Through the grass. I know, but I'm just saying, I, you want me to record or do you want to record? If you want to shoot, you can shoot. You shoot. No. Come on, that's a nice deer. It's you, dude. You're only going to do this twice a year. All right, well, then who's going to record this? Are you sure that's the same deer? No, it's not. There's another buck, dude, down there. That's the one you wanted to shoot. The one on the the one right next to that doe. Yeah. No, it's not. The one I wanted to shoot is over here. No, that's the one I want to shoot. No, it's not. The one that we I recorded at the top of the hill is the one over here to the left. All right, the deer just ran off, so we're gonna go stalk them, see what we can get. Dang it! They were over here. They were getting up and over this hill, so we're gonna walk up this hill and see if we can jump them. You never know. Don't know unless you try. Oh, this would be so cool. We need to get a white tail. Or we get a muley. So I don't get shot yet. Take the shot when he comes over the hill. Got him. Let's go, dude. Get out of here. Right, hey. We gotta get back to our ground blind. It's too cold out here. <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty cool. There's two deer down, brother. All right, we gave the deer about a half an hour. Now we're gonna go find it. We have the footage of where it went down. Uh, and we're coming up in about 75 yards here, hopefully doesn't run off on us or something stupid. The video shows it either by this white hump or this one over here. I think it's this one over here. There's some fresh tracks through here. Yeah, got him. Oh yeah, good deer.
That's a nice deer. That's a nice deer. Look at the body on that thing. Look at the body on it, bro. It's like a deer. Next shot. Oh, neck. Look at the body on that. I wonder why he fell instantly. It's a good looking buck, huh? Good white tail. How about that muley white tail combo? Doesn't get better than Nebraska, right? That's cool. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, ten point five by five. Just outside his ears. That's cool, man. Would love to have seen a neck shot, but or heart shot, but a neck shot will do, right? From 470 yards. All right, let's age this deer. You can usually tell by his molars. I bet he's, I bet he's three and a half, four and a half. Mm, probably younger, probably three. Young deer, but big body. That's probably. That thing definitely weighs more than me, doesn't it? <laughs> it's got to be over 220. Call him Big Poppy Cholo right here, dude. <laughs> Great Nebraska white tail right there. That's cool. Porter, can we do Santa's here? Can we get some reindeer? How cool is that? Tell Santa you want an Xbox Elite and a 72 inch plasma. Tell him you want a thermal scope. Yeah, there it is. The thermal yeah, scope. The thermal Santa knows scope. the deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Santa knows the deal. Well, gosh dang, what a great couple days so far. We got one mule deer and one white tail. And uh, we still have more tags. Honestly, I feel like we've harvested enough from the environment. But I still want to sit out and try and capture some stuff on camera and record some deer if we can. So we're going to sit out in our evening spot where we sat last night and saw that buck that we shot today and uh, see what happens. Never know. Never know what you're going to see. But it's been an absolutely incredible weekend. Call your friend. Make that trip happen because this is great. Great to be back outdoors again. Oh, dude, this looks great. Bald eagle. There's a sign, dude. America. Oh, hold on. I might see something over there. It's kind of nice with those does, huh? Great deer. Yeah, it was a good deer. I just, I think, like you said, it compares to the other two too much, so we're going to pass on him. But he, it looked like the, the rag was darker in color, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Rubbing on them cedars. Yep. Been sitting in the truck for how long? Three hours, and now we're starting to see some deer. It's sunset in like 10 minutes, and we got 30 minutes after sunset. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> Tyler cannot stand being on camera. Porter, on the other hand. <laughs> Beautiful sunset though. It's like orange and pink out. You watch. You gotta watch out of your half side. Right? Don't look out my window. <laughs> Dude, we gotta draw a line right down the middle of this windshield. I'll cover everything on this side. You cover everything on that side. All right? Daddy. Put look out my windows. Dang, you know this guy is legit. He can do it all. What a cool shop. That's a nice looking deer. Look, you can even see the folds in here. Jeez, this is a Nebraska one, no? Mm, I don't think so. Oh look, here's one of the foams. What do they call these? Molds. Molds. I was close. That's pretty cool to see. Yeah, if you if there's a basement at a taxidermist, you know you gotta check it out. We're leaving Porter. The here. lights don't work, so be careful. <laughs> yeah. We're leaving. We're leaving Porter down here. Oh, that's cool. 
So this is like the dry room, right? Or yeah, you're drying out the hides? So oh, look at these ones in velvet. That's cool. So how does the velvet get put on? It's fake There's velvet? There's a spray. There's a spray on there? Yeah, they've developed now. You used to have to send them out. Really? Hey, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. Very cool. But salt, they get salted down here and it's yep. boxed and sent to the tannery. Okay. Cool. Couple of moose over oh, yeah, there. look at that. There's some moose. Don't touch anything. Nice. Yeah, that won't break anything. That's a nice muley right there. Look at all those. The character on that. That's neat. Cole, I wanted to thank you, man, for taking <laughs> care of our deer for us. Heck yeah. We're excited to finally meet you, and I know you guys, you're going to get these deer right. Will you explain to us the process a little bit of how you're going to do this? You got the capes in today. You're going to send the... Uh, I'll skin them off the head, you know, after yep. you guys leave. Um, then I got to split ears, lips, nose, flesh them, all the fat. Yep. Then I got to salt them, and then they got to dry, and then I, they go to the tannery, tannery back. And then I got some work to do on them from there and then okay. order molds and ears and clay and the eyes, eyes and, and the whole thing. And then call you. Cool, man. <laughs> so I'm going to do a semi sneak upright, semi sneak upright facing to the right. And then you're going to do a semi sneak upright as well. But he, we're going to leave it up to Cole on whether he wants to have him looking left or right to see which way it looks better. But what's your timeline like? Three or four years? <laughs> <laughs> 12, 18 months. 12, probably. 18 months. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's like a perfect amount of time, but all right, guys, we'll see you in a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. All right, big debate going on right now, all right? <laughs> Explain to the chat what you're saying right all now. All right, if it is 45 degrees and the wind chill feels like it's 32 degrees, water will not freeze. That's a fact. I think that if the if it is, what, 42 degrees, is that what you said? 45 degrees. 45 wind degrees, the wind's blowing hard enough that it feels like 32 degrees, the water is cold enough to freeze. That's why it can snow when it's above freezing. Okay. Have Let's you ever seen out. it snow above freezing? Let's find out. All right. Let us know in the comments because if I'm right, then he has to pay for both deer mounts. If I'm right, <laughs> or if he's right, then I have to pay for both deer mounts. Shake on it. <laughs> hey, hold on. Be quiet for a sec. Would you turn that TV on mute? Dude. I'm watching football and volleyball. Will you put it on mute so I can record this outro? All right, guys, that wraps it up for the hunting video. I put on my Facebook to drop a comment of anything you've harvested this year. So shout out to everyone who's harvested an animal and here's all their pictures.